Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get the best battery percentage plugin for PS Vita. So it's kind of annoying right now because as you can see, there is my battery and I'm not too sure what the percentage is. Um, this is something that Sony probably should have added, but they didn't. So in this video, I'll just be showing you guys how to do it with plugins. So what you want to do is just scroll down, find your Vita Shell application, go ahead and start it. Once it starts, just press select and connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're on your PC, I will leave a link to this software in the description. And as you can see, it was actually updated very recently, which is really cool. There was uh, two different plugins and this was probably the best one I could find. So what you want to do is just click Shellbat and that will begin downloading the plugin. Once it's finished downloading, you can head over to your PC's downloads folder and you will be able to find it in there. So all you want to do, right click copy, go onto your PS Vita, and make sure hidden files are enabled. Now you're looking for the TAI folder and what you want to do is just right click and paste it in there. So that is it for the PC. Now I'll head over and show you guys what to do on the PS Vita. Right guys, so now we're back on the PS Vita. You want to go into your UXO. Now you just want to scroll down and you're looking for the TAI folder. So basically guys, what you would have to do here is go into your config. I'm actually going to move it to a different file because my config is in my URO. So what I'm gonna do is just go on triangle, go to copy. Then I'm just gonna go back to my URO, go in that tie folder. Obviously if you're config.txt, make sure just the normal one, not the backup. Then I'm just going to paste it in this file. So it really doesn't matter whether your TAI folder is on your UXO or URO, but just make sure this file is wherever your config.txt is. So now you want to go into your config.txt. What you want to do, you want to scroll all the way down until you get to main, go to the piece of text which is after it, and then press right on the D-pad. So now we're on line 12, and this is what you want to enter. So I'm just going to type it out now and then you guys can pause the video and copy it down. So that is what you want it to look like, UR0 or UX0 depending on where you put your file, then TAI slash shellbat.suprx. Make sure it's exactly like that, then just click the arrows right here, press circle, it's then going to say would you like to save, press X for yes, and then go back all the way to the main menu, now press start go down and select reboot. Okay, so back on the PS Vita, there's one thing you want to do, and that is just run your HN Core update again. So all we're gonna do is just start it, then exit again. And now guys, if you have a look there, you can see that the battery percentage is now working. So that's how you get it working. That is pretty cool. I didn't even know I was on 50%, so I should probably think about charging it soon. But yeah, that is how you get your battery percentage working. And this is actually really cool. I really like it. If you power it off and power it back on, it still says it on the sort of boot screen like this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.